Hey guys, it's Mackenzie, and we're here for the final night of Chef Dance at Sundance. I'm really excited because we're about to go in the kitchen with one of my friends, Marcel Vigneron. He's from Top Chef and Marcel's Quantum Kitchen, and he's cooking up a storm for us. Let's go inside and check it out. Hi, I'm Marcel Vigneron, and we're here at Sundance, actually cooking a dinner at Chef Dance. What I wanted to make was just kind of like dishes that I would like to eat, and also keeping in mind that we're in Park City, there's snow on the ground, it's freezing outside, and so I wanted to do like really homey, sort of like comfort dishes, like food that you just want to devour. The first course is a hamachi crudo, and we're basically just taking the really, really fresh hamachi that came in today, slicing it, and serving it with an array of different vegetables. So we have some orange segments, sliced turnips, Castle Vetrano olives, shaved fennel, we just lightly shave the fennel, put in a little, bit, a little bit of lemon, and then I made a tarragon vinaigrette for that. Uh, the second course, which I'm actually going to so show you how to make, is a kale salad. The key to making a kale salad is anything that you've ever learned about making a kale salad, throw it out the window. Any sort of salad, throw it out the window. So kale, as you can see, is like super, this is actually a cavalanero, also known as dino kale, also known as Tuscan kale. Um, and you can see it's really, really hearty um, and pretty fibrous, pretty tough. So we went ahead and de-stemmed the kale. You want to dress the kale salad anywhere from like an hour to like 30 minutes before you actually serve the salad. And what we're going to do now is, uh, is massage it. So I have the the pistachio ayad. Basically what we did was ground pistachios up with a little bit of banyols and shallot. Banyols is a vinegar and the shallots are basically like an onion but a little bit smaller, a little bit red. And we let the shallots macerate in the banyols for about 15 minutes and we put it in a blender and basically ground the vinegar, the shallots and the pistachios together and then emulsified in olive oil and salt. That's pretty much it. Be really rough with it, squeeze it like that, choke it out a little bit. Yeah, toss that salad girl. Toss that salad. And now we're going to add the fuyu persimmons right there. It's actually chocolate persimmons, chocolate fuyus. We have uh, pomegranate seeds, which is going to provide a nice texture, but also um, an antioxidant, great for immune system, really, really healthy. And then voila, there you have the kale salad with persimmons, pomegranate seeds, pears, and a pistachio ayat. After that, we are going to do a braised short rib. We actually cooked the short ribs overnight in uh, an elk stock, actually. So we're gonna braise the bison short ribs in elk stock, and we actually just cooked them in the oven overnight, low and slow, left the bone in, and we're gonna serve it with Brussels sprouts, roasted Brussels sprouts, apple butter, and apricots. So the sweet treat this evening is a bread pudding and we actually um, took vanilla beans and infused them in bourbon and a nice like brioche. We basically cut up the brioche and then made like a liaison. So we took milk, cream, the vanilla beans, the bourbon, eggs, made like a really kind of like a, a French toast batter essentially and then toss that with the brioche, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of clove and then golden raisins, blueberries, the bread pudding, we baked them off, and then we're gonna serve it with a bourbon whipped cream and a maple cloud. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, Marcel. I cannot wait to go eat your delicious food. So what was your favorite dish tonight? Hi there, my favorite dish was the kale salad. What flavors did you love about it? All of it, I mean there was kale, I think there was some type of cranberry, I could be wrong. I helped make it, so there was pomegranate. Pomegranate, that's what it was. I'm not a foodie, but I know when something's good, and I loved it. And the kale salad was also really amazing. Right. And again, I don't know much about the process, but I felt like it set up the ribs that I enjoyed so much. Well, I'm a meat kind of guy, so I have to go for the meat. I mean, it's a bit like eating a very small bit of dinosaur, isn't it? It's just so tender, dropped off the bone. I felt like, you know, Barney Rubble. It was great. So tell me, what was your favorite part of the meal tonight? Um, I think it was the braised short ribs, actually. They were amazing. And I think I've been here five nights in a row, and tonight was the killer night. I would say my favorite dish was definitely the, the kale salad. The bread and butter pudding. And being from England, it went down really well because that's an English pudding. Oh, my God, this has been the most amazing 10-year celebration. We had amazing sponsors. Also, taste it. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging out with us at Chef Dance at the Sundance Film Festival 2013. Remember Snake Wine? Click here to watch the guys and girls at the Nerdist chug it down in a game of Snake Wine Flip Cup. Watch Spike Middleson get down at a rowdy Ravens tailgate, then barbecue up a dish fit for a super Sunday. Miranda Singh stops by to give Noah some questionable advice on how to kick off a healthy 2013.
Watch Kevin Gillespie hunt down a Kansas City monster. Burnt Finger Barbecue's four-pound bacon behemoth. Subscribe for more free tasted treats.